From the South Carolina Gamecocks to Clemson Tigers to Tim Tebow coming to Columbia, Bobby Harton of Fan Talk sits down with me one-on-one -on -one for this edition of Quentin's Close-Ups. Bobby! How you doing? Good yourself? Yeah, I'm doing fine. And it's been a while. I was just thinking about that because it was like three years since I've interviewed you for Quentin's Close-Ups. Yeah, man, I'm still here. Yeah. Well, catch me up. Tell me what's going on with you. Yeah, I'm like Bill Murray and Groundhog Day. I do the same thing every day. Just come in, do a radio show. I'm, uh, you know, been out of the bar business now for about five years. So this is all I do here at the radio station and do the afternoon show. And in fact, next month we start our 25th year. 25th year. Where are you emotional with that? I'm okay. It's fun. As long as I've always said, as long as it's fun, I'll do it. And I have fun getting ready for it. And I have fun doing the show and then you know when I see people everybody I have to do like everywhere I go answer questions about sports and right. stuff like that so it's fun it's yeah. fun it's a lot of fun speaking of sports let me take you to Columbia obviously it's a new southern hot spot but now it's new the new southern sports spot <laughs> as you know T Tim Tebow is coming to Columbia right uh, later this spring when you think of that what sticks out to you of Tim, Tim Tebow? Yes, sir. I just hope, I hope it's, they're serious. I hope it's a serious thing. I hope it's not a gimmick to sell tickets. And I don't think it is. I don't think anybody would do that because uh, that's, that's not what minor league baseball is all about. I wish him the best of luck. I know he has a lot of supporters and he has a lot of haters, but, you know, I, why he's doing it, you could question all day long. I just hope he's sincere about it. And really, I wish him the best of luck. Speaking of baseball, let me take you over to Mount Pleasant. The Cougars set to host number six Clemson in front of a sell-off crowd. It's basically Matt Heath versus Monty Lee. Right, right. Yeah, well, you know, Monty left and turned the reins over the mat. So uh, that's kind of who yeah, yeah, those, I'm glad Monty's doing that. But I probably, would, knowing Monty and knowing Matt, probably a little uncomfortable playing each other, I would think. Wow. They, 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 maybe, not, maybe, not, right. maybe uncomfortable is not a good word, but okay. they're not going to take any joy out of beating the other yeah, because they're good friends. friends yeah. Well, let me speak of Clemson. Let me stay with Clemson because, as you know, you posted this on March 20th on Facebook. Well, Justin, Brad Bromwell will be back for an eighth season as Clemson's coach. Multiple sources have informed TigerIllustrated.com. The eighth season tells you what? Well, the statement from Clemson came down. It, 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 he's got to get something done. He's got to get to the NCAA tournament next year. Dan Radakovich, the athletic director, did a summer thing with Jack Leggett a couple of years ago. Kind of gets, told Jack Leggett, you got to do these. you got certain things you have to do. Or he's going to have to make a change. And I think it's kind of what they, they told Brad Brunell as well. Mm. Let me go down the road back to Columbia. Obviously, and you posted this You've got to be going all over the state. <laughs> Oh yes, we're going to take a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> Men and women in the Sweet 16, Gamecock swept the Volunteers. What a weekend. Madison Square Garden, here comes the Gamecock. Cox, party at the Mason Jar. Write the headline for me. What do you expect from Madison, Madison Square Garden with the men and from California with the women? It's going to be tough. I mean, it's going to be tough. I mean, I, like I say, everything per, pretty much, maybe not the women so much, because this is the fourth time they've been to the Final Four. Right. Maybe there's some expectations to go a little further. I think for the women, it's going to be hard uh, because Alicia Gray got hurt. We don't know what her status is going to be. Uh, we're already down one, you know, starter in Atlanta Coates. Right. So it's going to be tough for the women because I mean, you got UConn, you got Notre Dame, you got Baylor, you got all the big boys out there, or big girls, I should say, and uh, you know the the usual suspects. It's going to be really tough for the women being down as they are. But the men, who knows? I mean. We've already played in New York City twice this year. We played uh, uh, Beach Syracuse. I was actually in the Barclays Center. Uh, and then we lost to Seton Hall in Madison Square Garden this year. That was without St. Darius Thornwell. We beat Iowa State in Madison Square Garden in 2015. So familiar with the place. Maybe that gives us a little advantage. We're pretty familiar with Baylor. Right. So, you know, who knows? Uh, and if we have to go on, if it is Florida, we've already played them twice. We beat them in Columbia, mm -hmm. lost to them in Gainesville. So I'm excited. I, I never, I never expected them to beat Duke. That, that you know, just a unbelievable weekend between with the women winning, the men and women, and the baseball team winning. What does that tell you? Don't give me, you'll give me weekends like that to be a Gamecock fan. I know, right? Because I, <laughs> I was thinking, what is it like to see all of this? I mean, what is it like to be a Gamecock right now in your mind? Well, it's pretty fun this week. I mean, I think when it all comes to an end, you know, it'll 
It'll be bad. Of course, we got a lot more baseball to be played. And, sure. Uh, that was just our first conference series, so we still got all you know the Floridas and the Georgias, and the, we got Alabama this weekend. So we're a long way to play in baseball. Uh, a lot of expectations to Chad Holbrook oh, yes. coming in after you know uh, after uh, Ray Tanner, but uh, you know the men, everything from here is the gravy. It's gravy for me. Mm. If they go and lose for you know Friday night, I'm fine. They they had a great season and they beat. One of the blue bloods in basketball in Duke. So mm-hmm. send, send, send Duke home, get everybody a favor. All the Duke haters, <laughs> send them all, you know, send them home. I'm not a Duke hater either. Right, I, always right, liked, right. I always liked Duke. But, yeah. uh, but anyway, it was, a, it was cool to be a school with that kind of history. Yeah. You know, so it was fun. Speaking of history, they're the college Charleston tried this. But let me talk to you about the headline. Cooper season come to a close in NIT, but future is bright. As we see it right now, Bobby, what is the future like in your mind for the College of Charleston men's basketball? Oh, I think they got every starter coming back mm. next year. They've got Earl Grant, who's done a wonderful job there. Uh, I think they probably probably will be the favorite. Uh, UNC Wilmington just lost their head coach. Right. Uh, they've had some guys graduate. I mean, the Cougars have everybody coming back. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't surprise me if they don't win, win the, the Colonial Athletic Association next That's year true. and then, you know, go to the NCAA tournament. Well, I be, think that would be the expectation for the Cougars. That would be exciting too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, Bobby Harden, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. I really appreciate this. Well, you're welcome again. Come back anytime. Oh, definitely will. I talk sports with anybody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah.